How's it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at another beer I picked up at Sherbrooke Liquor last weekend. Um, yeah, picked up a few of their beers, been really enjoying them. Lots of IPAs, stuff like that, a couple sours. And I figured I'd uh, get into this guy right here, another Stone Brewing beer. One I haven't had yet. Um, I haven't had much access to Stone beers in the last probably two years. But um, yeah, figured pick this guy up um, and picked up a can for my buddy Lee as well. Uh, this is Never Ending Haze IPA. It's a uh, session IPA coming in at 4% alcohol by volume. Other than that, I don't know a whole lot about it. Just saw it, looked interesting, try it out. So let's get a crack poured, see how it is. Ooh, bubbling up right away. Pouring it into a glass I found at my local uh, Karen Share um, secondhand store. Yeah, 50 cents. I'm like, that's pretty rad. Usually for like cocktail glasses, highballs, stuff like that, I'm paying five, ten, sometimes fifteen dollars. So I don't know why. It's kind of douchey to spend that much money on a glass. I know I have some glasses that were like thirty dollars American. So I don't know. Stop doing that. Go to your local uh you know, secondhand shop and save infinite amounts of money. <laughs> And uh, yeah, onto the beer. It looks like never ending haze. Good name for it. You can't see anything through that. Super, super hazy. A finger of fluffy, bright white, actually more eggshell white kind of head. Yeah, I can hear it crackling away. So I'm guessing there's tons of carbonation going on in this beer, though I can't see it through all that haze. Um, let's try it out. Oh yeah, that smells good. I never thought I'd actually see a hazy IPA from Stone. Of course they do their uh, unfiltered stuff and whatever, but I've never had a actual New England IPA, hazy IPA, that style from Stone. So this will be a first and I'm Guessing it'll be good based on the aroma. Oh man. Bit of passion fruit. I'm getting lots of uh like Asian fruit. Like Brazilian passion fruit, the really tart stuff, but also the sweet. I'm getting like uh lychee. I'm getting some sort of melon and mango. Smells really damn good. Like really fruit forward IPA. This is what I want. And to think this aroma is coming off of a 4% beer. That's pretty rad too. It's hot for days. It's haze for days. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. It's not quite as intense on the uh, tongue as it was on the nose. But it's all there, man. It's all those flavors. But then with this like crackery, bready, dry mouthfeel, it does have a thickness, 4, 4%. Um, I would expect this mouthfeel in like a 8% alcohol stone beer, you know, um, a stone IPA, double IPA. Tons of carbonation, but not too much. Like the carbonation just awakens the palate and then fades. And you're left with just this really slick, oily, um, hoppy kind of mouthfeel, you know, hop oils going down like you would expect in a stone beer. Um, 
yeah, when I was expecting a session stone hazy IPA, this is exactly what I want. That's really good. Stone is one of my favorite breweries, has been for like five, six years, whenever I visited them. Uh, just fell in love with their beers and I've been drinking them ever since. Sadly, last couple years I haven't been able to get out there, especially with the COVID shutdowns and whatnot. Haven't been able to travel out to uh, the States at all. That's usually where I get my stone beers. Um, so, real nice treat. This is awesome. I had their Fear Movies Lions um, double IPA a couple days ago and loved that. Man, I gotta get more stone in me, man. Gotta get stoned. Is that the first time anyone's ever made that joke? I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, delicious. One of the better, if not one of the best, um, session hazy beers I've had. Um, is this better, in my opinion at least, than the go-to IPA, which is probably my favorite session beer of all time? No, but it's close. Um, I'm saying like mid to low 90s on this guy. I'm really, really liking this. This is something I could drink all the time. Hoping this is released in my area next summer. Uh, summer is dying down quick out here in northern Alberta. Um, very short summers, so hopefully I can get my local liquor store to hook me up with a bunch of stone IPAs. I would love to drink more of this. Um, I got one more can, but I'm going to send that one out to a buddy. I think he'd like it a lot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go straight up. I'd say 93 on this guy. Uh, straight up. A minus verging on an A, basically an A. Uh, it's, it's an A. Uh, it's great. And what I like about it, it's so flavorful, but it's not heavy, but it feels heavy going down. But like here it's heavy, here it ain't, you know? The opposite of those big double IPA NEPAs that just fill you up in one can. Like, you could drink easily a four-pack of this. It's awesome. It's awesome. So try it out. Let me know what y'all think of it. If you've had it, let me know what y'all thought of it uh, or any of Stone's latest releases. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews like this. Till the next time, cheers.